Whew. So as of the 24th of July, I've been doing a lot of filming today in this hot weather and as I thought I was done with filming for the day, this video comes up. One of the videos that I submitted to be in, I did a clip, it's on the Addy's Hat channel and now, considering it's finally here, we are going to react to it. It's Brandon Dillon's I'm Fighting a Midget with Yexi being all of you. I will say that there was supposed to be a sound effect when Yoda appeared, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, this will be interesting, this will be interesting because this is the first time I feel like I've been able to create something out of a little clip and then if it uses it, that'd be amazing. So yeah, let's see how this video goes. Now. Which is on my birthday. Recently, one more other card was announced for the friend we will hear from. Soon I'll be fighting XTV. This is a fight that I have pretty much been wanting since the day I met the kid. Brandon thinks he is my number in our fight, but what he doesn't realize is that I've been training so hard for our battle and that I am the underdog in this scenario. He's so annoying. He doesn't know when to show up. He's basically a midget. There's absolutely nothing to like about this kid. I just want to squash that midget. I think so, I feel like I'm going to go. The only insult Brandon really has on me is making fun of my height. He thinks just because he's bigger than me, he's just That's literally what everyone does. Actually, I, I, I don't solve, but I'm actually very capable of pulling my weight. Yes, you try to say, oh, size doesn't matter, but that's a complete load of bullshit. Complete bullshit. As everybody knows, size does matter. I've been working hard. Brandon's insults have no effect on the confidence going into our fight. I've been working out a day in my life, and I'm just trying. I can probably still not have an image in 10 seconds. <laughs> wait, wait, we're actually boxing? I don't have a little fight was another way of saying you're going to want me one on Fortnite. What the hell? He actually thought I was talking about Fortnite. Um, uh, I'm not going to lie, that's actually kind of funny. Uh, but what's funnier is that in 33 days when I step in the boxing ring with him, I'm going to beat his ass so badly that his heart will really move from here to like around here. Um, and then his testicles will be- Why are you guys making me do this? I'm freaking scared. The parents are actually going to try to kill me. Then he'll probably have two black eyes. Um, his nipples will be oozing blood. Um, <laughs> he'll have a dislocated shoulder. Um, I'm going to make sure that his penis is actually stuck on the inside. Why did I sign up for this? I should have a stupid... know what Brandon is saying. He has a rear burst, um, his spine will be snapped in half, and of course he'll be sitting in a pool of his own blood. What am I fighting him? 33 days? I'm not ready. I'm too young to die. I'm going to show you the camera for this one. Yes, in 33 days, when I beat you in that boxing ring, I'm going to become the new owner of the XCU channel. I'll have all 10,000 of your subscribers. You know, I, I guess you keep your second channel though, because no one really cares about that one. Yeah, you can take it online. Then the fan channel comes back if you could take your troll a bit. I just can't wait to squash that midget. Can I get out of this? I'm screwed. Ice. <laughs> can you do this? Oh god, it's not. I was walking down the street one day, and I saw this guy with some boxing gloves on. I think his name was like Brandon right. or something. He came up to me, I thought he was gonna punch me, but he pulled out $20 and he said, Wanna film this video? And he kind of mentioned something about being gay or something like that. Uh, I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Uh, so I kind of. If my fit comes up, the lighting is absolute shit. It is. Promo to my channel. I'm just seeing what to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, I'm and I I mean, I think Yexi is gonna win because he has lower body strength. Brandon will win fight. He has to. I have a lot of money riding on this. Let's see this one. When Brandon you? loses match, Brandon loses kneecaps. I have to be honest. <laughs> I 
Okay, well, I guess the lighting's not bad, it's not. I, I, I guess it's out. It, it, it's not bad. It, it, it's not bad, like. Yeah, I've probably messed all this up. Um, okay, now oh, let's continue. If Brandon loses match, Brandon loses kneecaps. I have to be honest here. I try support not to the crash, most. Um, but who do I support the most out of these two to win a fight? I think it will be Yags TV. The reason being because, well, well I've got his match. Plus, I filmed it twice because it was absolutely someone if you wanted to just to win this fight. Brandon, you know an awful lot about Yags the man, Yags the person, but you know about Yags the fighter. Yags dogs beat out on a per share basis. And when you step into the square circle with him in 33 days, he's going to send you back to what you <laughs> Jesus Christ, that image is old <laughs> of Yax. Okay, so I'm kind of rubbing in a, in a uh, pickle right now. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Um, so I really don't have time to film anything, but I'll give my thoughts on this fight between uh, Brendan Dillon and uh, Yax TV. Now, the thing is, though, I have fought uh, YXTV before, before we became uh, friends. And I gotta say, even though I love the man, uh, YXTV, uh, he's kind of a pussy when it comes to fighting. Uh, number one, he relies on big drug nuggets, who he literally sucks off like 24-7. Because he uh, was used in that one video where he uh, almost gets uh, completely annihilated by a giant black man. And two, uh, when he pushed me down on the ground, uh, was it, it was because of his force, and just that I was a little bit dizzy from the uh, obstacle course that I uh, took a part in. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, that I was you know, a little bit too tipsy over that. I could probably still have kicked his ass, but no, I was just a little bit dizzy. And so that little slight tiny push that he did uh, was enough to make me fall down since I was already a little bit dizzy. You know, I had, I had my head in the game. So there's that. And also when I punched him in the gut, uh, he just went down like a light. So there's that. And also uh, Brendan. Uh, Brendan's kind of like the ultimate like mega virgin. Uh, I don't think he's have ever seen like a pair of tits in his life. <laughs> and if you're wondering why I think he is the mega virgin, uh, just look at any of his thumbnails, uh, especially uh, Shrek 5, and I'll definitely answer your question. And plus he does uh, music parodies, and he literally did a hashtag triple M, but he doesn't even like McJuggernuggets. Like, what the heck, dude? I don't and it wasn't like Focus on Me song parody. I don't know, man. And uh, so yeah, there's a uh, there's that. And who do I think will win? I mean, both of them are pretty pathetic, even on Francis Yegor. But I say I'm gonna go with Mega Virgin because at least Mega Virgin, uh, he has. He seems like he has a good uh, good muscle to him. He seems like a strong man. Uh, Yegor, he's really just a twig. I, I don't blame him since, like, he was literally raised in, in the North Pole by uh, Santa Claus. So, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. And uh, I really can't wait to see this fight. Uh, even, I mean, if I you know, come out of this alive, uh, I'll see Apollo's uh, later. And uh, subscribe to the uh, Killer Ball Film Show, please. Please, the love of God. I should have done that. It's a pretty simple fight, man. I mean, just look at Brandon Dillon. And look at. The other guy. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He's definitely gonna win. Like, this is all Brandon Dillon every single day of the week, bro. I don't know if you really looked at the other guy, but if you look at him, he's a. You know, this guy. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna say it kind of rudely. You know, this guy, puny. 
little short, and then it's small, small thing. It's not going to work out. Also, the word on the street is I was talking to John Nuggets the other day, and I told him, you know, when Brandon beats this guy, you should probably block him. And he said, you know what? I probably will. So, uh, I'm pretty sure Brandon Dillon is going to absolutely destroy him. And, I mean, he's just an overall better YouTuber. Watch Brandon's content and watch his content. <laughs> it doesn't compare. Brandon Dillon is such a better YouTuber. He can fight. He's built like a Greek god. Another guy. <laughs> he's like a, it's like Gary Coleman. It's just not going to work. I have no idea what you're talking about. You guys want to it? So yeah, um, again I want to say special thanks to Brandon Dillon uh, for including my video into his video. Um, yeah, so now if you're wondering, hey, um, even though this was not a real fight, um, have you ever wondered if, you know, what would Yaks TV be like, not against Brandon Dillon, but against, I don't know, maybe someone else? Well, even though I've got more for the spin-off, um, if you want to go and check out um, some of the parts down below, but specifically episode 6, um, there's a little bit of fighting in there, and you could see what a realistic out view of a fight with the XCD could actually uh, look like. Um, or you can go and check out that um, other VidCon uh, skit called Meeting Haters in Real Life. So there's basically two versions of how Yeggs TV could fight. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Brandon Dillon uh, for all of this. And yeah, um, peace guys. See ya.